like when that comes across like it, it, bam it, your trip yeah. is up like it's you're not like, sitting there like it's like yeah. oh, it's not finding the address and, and yeah, it's like back right it, there yeah back yeah. when i started back in the days where we, we had abacuses and and Justin don't want that is. is. <laughs> it's <laughs> early 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 math hi dave here from continental express uh welcome to our podcast series where, where we're going to be sharing stories and tips from drivers and office staff. Hi, welcome to the next episode of our podcast series. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about technology in the trucks and technology moving into the future with Continental Express. I've got here with me Ron Koontz, who is our uh, IT guy. Um, he's in charge of anything and everything computers. And I've got Justin Puller here with me, one of our local drivers. Puller? Pulfer, sorry. This thing's getting... We call him that every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Sorry, Justin Pulfer. He's one of our local drivers. And we're going to be talking about some of the new technology in the trucks, uh, some of the, mo the motives, uh, the CEO, things like that. Um, Ron, you want to kick it off since you're the uh, mastermind genius behind sure. all this? Sure. Poor guy. So one of the questions <laughs> was asked is what Continental Express is doing for... Uh, you know, and, and the corporate's technology now in the world. Um, there's a couple big things now going around. There's big uh, names like big analytics. Big data analytics is the kind of the buzzword now. Um, Continental Express has done this for about the last five or six years, which kind of puts us to, in front of uh, a lot of our customers, a lot of our drivers. Um, we've been doing this for a little while now, but we try to stay ahead of the trend, try to maybe push the trend one way, um, you know, keep it going. Um, a couple of these analytics that we do um, kind of gives us insights for the fleets, for, for either a dedicated fleet, OTR fleet, whatever we might be doing. Mm -hmm. um, helps us out with uh, any kind of bottle, bottlenecks or load optimization, uh, calculating the delays, um, and even poor customer infrastructure. I mean, we want to hear that. Our customers want to hear it. You know, if we need to jump in and say, hey, we're waiting, you know, five, six hours, I'm sure Justin here doesn't want to wait five, yeah. six hours. You know, to, yeah, if to, you can use the technology yeah. to help the customers become more efficient. Right. It helps the drivers, it helps the customers, it helps the shippers, receivers. Yeah, that's actually really good. Well, as a, as a driver, Continental has a very good ratio of live on load, live loads mm -hmm. versus dropping hooks, but, and they can both be for you or against you, but instead of sitting in a dock, you might be able to just drop hook, hook an empty and head out. So that is one of the big benefits of Continental is we have both, like you're not always gonna have to sit in a dock. You can do a little bit of yeah, that. Right? And if the technology feeds into that, right. then it's, it's only gonna make it better all the way around for everybody. Well, and like for planning, like if they know loads of drop and hook, they can go, you know, if you need a little extra miles, like, hey, you're gonna drop and hook and then take this load. Well, this load might be a live on load. Mm -hmm. So they can they can do that, like if they need to bump your miles up because you're gonna drop and hook, you just you keep the wheels spinning. Yeah. And so that's a really good benefit here at Continental is that we have both of those opportunities. Well, and the only way we know that too is the analytics side of things, you know. Yeah. Obviously we want to get you there safe and Keep everybody safe on the road yeah but then get the you know the, the load stuff delivered on time and or picked up on time mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. all that good stuff yep. then you guys make money yeah. i mean well, uh, that, that's what it ultimately is well, yeah. we make well, money Continental makes money one, one of the one of the big jumps in the technology um is the the ce go and the tablets that we went to uh is uh the, the thing i really like about it uh, one of my favorite things is, is when it's actually updated is being able to see your trailer temp mm -hmm. and your fuel level mm -hmm. uh, and, and being able to track what your trailer's doing from the cab. Especially uh, for really critical it, freight like yes, flowers, bananas, yes. that um, it has to be at that temperature yeah. and if, if that unit goes down you only have you only have a little bit of time to get it figured yeah. out, get it fired back up or if you have a deep freeze load like negative 20 and it's 90 degrees outside that mm -hmm. unit goes down like you got to get it figured out and if if we can't see that temperature we don't yeah, know what it's and, done and i like how it's it's color coded the mm -hmm. blue and red 
you know, if there's a problem or something's going wrong, you can instantly know, hey, I need to pull over and check my yeah. or, uh, uh, I, I love that you guys did that, and I applaud you for it, because that, that's something that me and other drivers have been talking about for probably about a decade. If we could right. just keep track of the reefer units inside the cab, instead of having to pull over, because you can pull over and check your reefer, <laughs> Uh, you know, in a safe spot and get out and make sure everything's okay and take off and go and two minutes down the road the reefer you're out of fuel. goes out goes yeah. out or whatever and, and you're not going to know until the next time you stop which could be two three hours down the road and by right. then it could be too late. So. Well and one thing they did that was a step further is like if you're driving for five six hours straight trying to you know keep time and you're like you know that temperature's kind of been the same you can literally click on it and it'll blow it up and it'll yeah. say like it updated at 1301 yeah it, and now it's you know three o'clock or in the afternoon it's like it doesn't update in like three hours so might want to check it just because it hasn't updated you know yeah. again technology yeah. that how it gets to the computer screen or the tablet screen so one of the biggest questions we always get is well at least i get is <laughs> why in the world did you guys decide to do this and not buy something <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> I can tell you that story if you like. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's uh, some some of it's kind of long, but uh, it kind of paints a picture of what we're going to do in the future. Inquiring but, minds want to know. Yeah. Continental's <laughs> been one of those companies where we're kind of a uh, we practice a a, a SaaS kind of uh, infrastructure, which just is software software service is all it is. Oh, okay. the IT word that's kind of like we build the software um, so SAS is a software software as a service and what it really means okay. is the software okay. works for the company and not having to change the business for the software ah, gotcha. okay. so not all soft software can be customizable and every business is different including Continental so it's easier just to design it the way you want well it, it, there there's some caveats to it but we tend to build based on best practices best business practices yeah. and it could be you know a standard best business practice or it can be continental's best business practice now russ and i are sometimes are on the same page most of the time um, <laughs> he and i kind of you know the way i see it is he's built something from you know the ground up yeah so obviously yeah. he's got some good uh, we'll call them street smart truck yeah. smarts yeah he knows how to run the business and, and it works well so there's a lot of um, information that we can get out of him to build into yeah. the software. He's going to have a lot of input yep. on what he wants to, how he wants it to interact and with the drivers and what information he wants them to see. Right. There. And, you know, one of the things when I first started here is, you know, he always says he wanted to be on top, you know, you know, kind of the leader, the trend setter. Yeah. Um, and and one of those number one things was one, whatever we do, it's got to be safe. Absolutely. We want the drivers to you know be safe on the road for not only them. You know, we want you guys to go home and you know, right. <laughs> Justin, you got a baby on the way, so yeah, 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 he's pregnant. Yeah, he's pregnant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was Dylan. <laughs> You guys can't see uh, JP, but him and I, are, I think I got an, an eight-year-old and it's about on that too. Congratulations. But, but not only, you know, keeping you safe going home, you know, everybody else on the on the road too, myself included, when yeah. I go home, you know, yep. we don't want that road rage and, and we don't want technology to, to fuel that. Yeah. So CE, um, CEO is kind of developed more because we tried to find a package out there we honestly did and there was a few out there and one would have something we really liked but not what maybe this other one did mm -hmm. yeah they... so we sat down and we went through a lot of uh trial and error kind of what do we want to do uh, so we started thinking about security wise you know that's going to be a big thing especially in technology yeah oh, yeah so uh we went with the apple platform uh, we did not go with Android. Android's uh, kind of a um, open source, so there's a lot of security issues in there. Yeah, yeah, um, a a uh, iOS, which is Apple, uh, you can do uh, uh, manage device um, platforms on there to kind of 
keep you even more locked down so you know you're not uh, watching Netflix or something well, like that. I was, I, was trying, I was trying to watch Netflix yeah, earlier. Yeah, can't get you. Yeah, not surfing, so, not surfing Facebook or anything. Yeah. One of the big things was obviously safe, safety. We talked about that. So, you know, driving down the road, we don't want certain buttons and things like that. We want the turn by turn location. That's kind yeah. of stuff on. Um, and then there was kind of, um, uh, where was I going with that? Um, the communication piece of it. And we wanted you to feel kind of like you're next to, you know, myself, like maybe the next uh, office over or something like that, that, that you can yeah. connect you can yeah. connect with us. So you're part of the team, you know, and you're not just out there driving. Yeah. I mean, we always really said we can kind of almost do everything except for drive and fuel your truck. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that uh, I, I use, uh, and I run dedicated, so I don't need to use it a lot, but I thoroughly enjoy the, the turn by turn. Mm. And, it, you know, I've got Google Maps, which I've had to be, I was forced to use from time to time in an emergency, but it always assumes you're in a car. Right. <laughs> and yeah. that's where you get in trouble. It can route you through it. Trailer um. park, you know, <laughs> and so you know when we got that and the turn by and, the, and it had the Google Map ish, you know, map to it and turn by turn, and I'm like, oh, but he said, you know, uh, they told me it will only route you on truck safe mm -hmm. roads. Right. It may not be a truck friendly road. Right. But it, we, but we, it's at least legal for trucks to be on it. And I thought that is really amazing because you look at. Some of these apps or, or some of these GPSs are selling, they want four, five, six hundred dollars for them. Oh, yeah. A lot of drivers you just can't afford that kind of money. But, you right. know, like I said, and I don't need to use it because I'm on a dedicated route, but there are times where there's an accident, the road yep. shut down, mm -hmm. and they say, oh, they detour you off until you get, <clears throat> and then you get to the top of the ramp and there's there's no detour. Mm -hmm. They're telling you which way you can go. You're in the middle of West Virginia mountains, <laughs> one wrong turn, and you could be up and down in somebody's hollow. Start hearing some banjo music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 You, you could be in the middle of the woods somewhere on a gravel road going, how the heck did I get here? You know. <laughs> um, but, no, I, I yeah. really like the fact that the safety, just not so much the safety, but just the confidence it gives you knowing that you're not guessing hey is that road residential is that well know? and we've had we've had those issues just like any other technology we always tell everyone if it's you're using CEGO, it's, it's only a tool. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, right. Exactly. Because the GPS can be wrong. <laughs> you know, we yeah. use we use a third party that uh, um, does the maps for Google, does the maps for Raymond. Right now, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. There's, one, there's one actual company that does it for everybody. Oh, really? Okay. So we use them. Um, and actually, here in the next, I don't know, I would say next 30 days, 30 to 60 days, we'll have a new version of this app, which is Better Maps. I actually got to run that when I went to uh, Texas. Oh, okay. It is really nice. Did you get on that beta version? Yeah, yeah, I was on that okay. to Texas. And I was going to touch when you were talking about, like, you wanted us to feel like you're, like, right there. I remember when I first got the CEO app and I was testing it, uh, driving over the road. Um, I was on the phone with Aaron about an accident on the highway, mm -hmm. and he was like, and he was all interested, like where the CEO app was, because we were testing it, wasn't quite out to drivers yet. So he sends me a message, he's like, "Hey, buddy," and like as we're on the phone, I had my headset on, like you literally could hear it come across. Right. Like, as soon fast. as he hit the send button, like yep. you could hear the tablet say, "Hey, buddy." <laughs> that, that's like, one of the things that we wanted to do was where we, yeah with Qualcomm like your your messages could be delayed yeah, yeah so it was really interesting and he he thought it was funny so like every time I call him he'd be a joke and he'd be like what do you want even though he's on the phone right. so he'd like send me messages instead of talking because yeah. it was like that quick oh, so that, that, and I wanted to touch on that because he was talking about how he wanted us to feel like we're like either right here yeah. now almost every driver has a GPS in their screen right so what you're doing is you're just taking that device out of the screen and putting it on their mm -hmm. dash and not in their window yeah. but yep. you know it's still it's just a tool like as a driver you still need to plan your route and make sure mm -hmm. right which way it's routing you that yeah. it's routing you the best way I or think which way you think is the best way like you still have to do your job and like and yeah. review I mean, the route things like that because it's just a tool but it is really nice the step-by-step -step, like 
you know, you're cruising along, you know, rocking out to ACDC, like you're out west, and it's like 400 miles, and all of a sudden it's like, and two miles, take exit. It's like, oh, whoa, <laughs> I got to do something. Kind of wake you up. Yeah, you yeah. know, because you're yeah. kind of like in tunnel vision, you know. So, or so the new version actually, like, talks you through. Oh, it does. Yeah. So it, it, it does it now. It does it now. Yeah. But oh, okay. The, you, you mentioned one thing about trip planning and stuff. Um, when we first did this, um, you were one of the ones that were testing it first, mm -hmm. and you're the ones that, the reason we put that trip planning in yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, you didn't trip plan because well, 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 because you were bad at it. No, you were bad at it. They, they had to give like a printout. Like, you if you were like, going the old Google Maps where it gives you the printout, that's what they had to do. Yeah. If but, you were going out to Utah or something like that, I mean, you want to stop at Grandma's house you know, yeah. or some place that was really good. Well, and good then, food. The trip plan. That you trip could put plan, that in there, and you could kind of figure yeah. out. Oh, I'm going to run out of hours in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Or that, that's kind of nice too when you're going on a lengthy trip that's going to take more than your time it right. really gives you an area hey someone around here you're going to run out of time well, it also and, and it gives you fuel fueling options and, mm -hmm. and stops and well, it's really nice too like say you pick up a trailer and it's like you need to wash out and fuel so yeah. you could be like I want to, you know, I want to add Gaffney terminal or Sydney terminal to my route yeah. so it'll route you there yeah. and it'll show you, you know, your time but when we when we first put the trip planner on there at first it's kind of like yeah we really didn't use this lot but then when we got with loves and pilot we got you know those are on the screen yeah, now so now it's like okay i think i'm going to run out of hours right. here so you could click on that loves and it'll say yeah. you're you know 40 miles away 40 miles out. And you're, you look at your time you're like yeah well this is where i'm going to go so you could hit add to trip and then it'll yeah. route you into your the loves and and it'll actually show like your fuel prices and everything like that. Now it's not as cool as you know the app on your phone because you know I'm always interested in what food is at that trip. So I don't, you know, yeah, I'm not really worried yeah. about it. You're, 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 yeah. you're eating for two. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the trip planner, like that's what we came up with. Is that, and it was really nice. So that way, or you know, if you needed a truck wash or if they're like, hey, we need you to go to. Um, we need you to go to Meyer and, and pick yeah. up an empty. You can literally bring up Meyer, Meyer and put it on your trip and, and just go in and get your empty. Yeah. And it would and it's really nice that like when that comes across, like it, bam, it, your trip yeah. is up. Like it's you're not a, sitting there like it's like yeah. oh, it's not finding the address and, and yeah, it's like back, right there. It, yeah, back yeah. when I started, back in the days where we we had abacuses and, and uh, <laughs> abacuses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Justin it, don't want it, what that it, is. <laughs> <laughs> It's that, early, early, early math. Was that early? Oh, early math. Back I don't know what that is. People could count. But, oh. Yeah. yeah uh, but, was that back in like cab over had, days? Or? Yeah, I had a, I had a cab a, over days. Yeah, yeah, I had a directions book for a specific for customers. Yeah, yeah. And I had my We room. still have those. Yeah, I still have them. But now it's on the iPad, too. And I got I a map. Like and I got a map. Right. And what we used to have to do is we'd have to go where we were to the customer, shipper or receiver, and figure it and then we'd have to get into the direction book and we'd have to write all this stuff down mm -hmm. and you'd have to look on there and figure out how many miles at legs each leg was and then I had a truck stop book and I had to pull that sucker and I could you I mean you could literally spend forty five minutes you know, if you were new at it, it was nothing to spend forty five minutes to an hour to trip plan something to figure it all the way through. Yeah. And then Gosh forbid, if the direction book, it, when I got it, it was 10 years old. So it'd say, hey, turn left at the third light, but it didn't tell you that three years ago they put in two more lights. <laughs> you know, was, now you had to so, get that app. Uh, yeah, yeah, was, that, uh, was that back so, in the day where you had to go to the truck stop and order your food and stay in line for the payphone to call in? And, yeah, that, was black, that was back when the yeah. world was black and white. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, was, it was flat. Yeah. 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 So you could get better fuel mileage that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there you go. And, uh, but, you know, I mean, and, and it's still good to have those tools mm -hmm. with you in case the technology fails, but yep. you literally took what some people would take hours. I'm not sure if many could through. do it anymore. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, Honestly, yeah. yeah, but some people would take like an hour or so while during their break when they could be sleeping or doing, you know, being doing a trip plan. Mm -hmm. and, and then with all the best of intentions, they get going on to their trip and then all well, the roads closed or something happens or they got to reroute and yep. now their whole trip plans ruined and right. you know and oh, now I got to pull over to <coughs> and this is that and how to figure out how to get around and you've literally got that down to where you can pull over and 
Well, touch the screen and it instantly just routes you through. One of the things I like about I think it's amazing. But one of the things I do like about our map is um, like I was going to Florida one time and I had my CB on and they were all hauling southbound, get off the highway, it shut down, care flights on the ground. I'm like, oh, so I, I zoomed my, I took my fingers and zoomed the map mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And I had seen the exit ramp and I looked over and there was a, it was an orange road, so that's truck route. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, that's going to go right past the wreck. And with our mapping, we have live up to date traffic. So yeah. if you zoom yeah. it out, like it showed the red, it didn't say it was shut down, but it showed the red, the backup. And I'm mm -hmm. like, so I zoomed it out. I'm like, okay, I can get off here turn here and take this up road and it's going to run right, right past that rack yeah. and jump back on. If I want to have that information, which the CB radio, which you do, you know what CB radios are. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but without that, in my day, we just had styrofoam cups and really oh, long okay. Long, long. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> so if I had not had that information or been able to like zoom that out, really, yeah. I would have, like, I, I would have been I, stuck I, in that. I was, I was ahead of my time. <laughs> That made your own. So, yeah. and because of that technology, because I had was able to do that, yeah. I was able to get around that wreck and mm -hmm. keep moving where I would have been stuck in the wreck well, and shut down. And a, and a lot of times now, if it sees that the road's closed, it'll, it'll tell you, yeah. hey, alternate route, mm -hmm. extra route. Available. You want to do it or not? And yeah. you can yeah. just hit the button and it automatically reroutes. And you can so. zoom, and you can also zoom in on that, and it'll show mm -hmm. you what it's routing you around. And, and, I, and I like I like the weather app. The, the weather I was going to say, there's other tools and stuff in there. We have the, yeah. the weather stuff, and the weather file kind of follows you. Uh, we also yeah. included uh, the vacation pace uh, or vacation uh, calendar. You can kind of see which vacations that you. Oh, put I looked in. at that. that we're I was like, come on, vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know we have pay stuff. So yeah. you know you yeah. guys don't and have uh, that was another your pace steps and stuff anymore. We we all do it online, but there's a different way to get there. But we actually put it in the. Yeah, yeah, it's so kind of get a quick them. overview to say, mm -hmm. oh, this is the money, yeah, is the money I'm getting, getting or my yeah. wife's getting, yeah, or that's my wife's or whatever. Getting, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. for security reasons, we had decided that it would be a good idea to make it password protected. So, like, if your oh, truck's yeah. sitting outside and it's like, hey, you know, I get, you know, two buttons, I could look at your pay. So we made it where it's right. yeah. password protected. Yeah. You have to put in your your password, and then you can view your pay stub see what kind of money you're getting or not. Yeah, getting, you, yeah, you, know. you break down or something and forget to log out or something yeah. happens and yeah. somebody well, gets I mean, in your truck. A lot of this stuff, we can do that remotely. So oh, yeah. if, you're, okay. if you're off the side of the road, and I don't know, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever you're doing. I mean, and if we, we decide uh, it's time for you to log out or I mean, you're stealing our iPad, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You know, it's would, no good to you. I would hate to think that someone would do it, but, you know, if there's a driver who thinks maybe he's not getting enough miles or – Something like that, and he sees someone. I maybe he's gonna get nosy because it does show your your miles for the last seven days and what you're yeah. running. Yeah. And but it's a very good tool. You know, you can yeah, go on there and, and see what you know, see what your pay was, what kind of miles you had, things like that. So, so we do projections. Yeah. Yeah. Projections. yeah so if you want to make a certain that. amount of money and you hey, so far yeah, in the year you're, you're here, here. If you projected here, yeah. to make whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Now what what uh, what kind of things are we looking uh, uh, in the near future or distant future? What do you like? Like what's like, what's like your dream uh, overall? Like this is I really would love to put this on. Well, there, you know. one of the big things where there's a couple things that's coming out um, here uh, quickly, quick I guess quickly, um, along with the CEO piece of it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our new trucks can do uh, CarPlay, hmm. so there's a third screen that these trucks come with. So we're going yeah. to. Uh, Basically, you put it on an iPhone and CarPlay it over to the trucks. There's the screens right there. We might as well use their technology as well. And that's what they'll have company issued iPhones yeah. to run the Apple. Play. That's the plan. That's yeah. The plan. Yeah. 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 Now, what actually is that? You say it's CarPlay. CarPlay. So basically, kind of streams over to the screen that's already built into the Freightliner. The, the new trucks have two screens. The, yeah. The one screen that. is your all digital dash, and, and the second they, screen is like your radio. And yeah, eventually yeah. they'll have even your temperature control is all going to be digital. Oh, wow. But the, the screen that has like your radio and all your uh, equipment information and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you'll be able to use the phone to run it. So we won't have to have the iPads anymore. It'll run right off of that screen. Oh, wow. And then you'll have like a company issued iPhone. So like, so now when you go into like a receiver and they're like, hey, I need your number to call you. You could give them that number instead of your personal number. <laughs> We're incorporating a lot of the, the CEO stuff with our, our uh, camera system and stuff. 
Uh, we've been using uh, the same camera system now for, uh, were you here? When we were doing it's, that? It's five, been, five or six years? Yeah, when I, six, seven, five, six, seven years. Yeah, when I first started, we yeah. didn't have cameras. They were just starting to put them in. And, <coughs> and I admit, as a driver, um, I was against when I knew that it was an inside camera. I was against it, but you know, the more I drove, I'm like, you know, why do I worry about a camera looking at me as long as if I'm doing my job and not doing something I shouldn't be doing, then right. why, why yeah. worry about yeah. it? And then, well, and, and there was a lot of there was a lot of pushback of things. I think just industry in, in yeah. general. I mean, it oh, was, yeah. but oh yeah, but yeah. we're finding out that you know it's beneficial to you. It's beneficial mm -hmm. to the owner of the truck. If yeah, it's an owner operator or you know, well, and, and not only that, but the, the camera that points inside is only operational when, when you're moving. When yeah. you're moving. When yeah. you're well, when an event happens, yeah. so it's got to be like a high G or yeah. uh, you or know, the, JP yeah. picking his nose, something <laughs> like that. I don't yeah. pick that. Up. Yeah, which I <laughs> do. You know, all so we don't want that. Yeah. yeah. You probably get well, and millions of hits on me. A lot of people were worried about like if they're in a truck stop, mm -hmm. you know, the camera's on, they were worried about privacy, but. If you after it five minutes off, yeah. you see it, the red light, so off. the inside camera yeah, and is off, so it's not watching you back there watching you know Looney Tunes or whatever. Yeah, and not only that, but if you're worried about privacy, pull the curtains closed. Well, then you would have like a little itty bitty room, like. Well, no, if you got window curtains, well, some window all, curtains go. Well, we're not all cool like you. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I admit, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe junior. Yeah. Yeah. The other things we've been seeing though too <laughs> is we we get uh, you know we talked about big you know the big data analytics we get analytics from this kind of stuff though too and um, driver behavior. So yeah. Yeah. a lot of times you may not know and and everybody's the perfect driver and and it's oh, yeah. not that's not what it's about it's you know seeing the trends of hey we've seen you know the statistics of this happening causes this mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it, it can change the driver's habit then, obviously, make you more safe yeah. for you and everybody else out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, you know, I think now it's pretty much uh, a, a standard kind well, of in the trucks. And Well, that's the thing. And it just any company you go to, because there were guys like, I'm not working for this company, they got inside cameras, but now, like, everyone's running them. Because yeah. if, if there is an accident, <laughs> heaven forbid, like, mm -hmm. obviously none of us want to be in accidents or anything. But they've got to be able to prove without a doubt that you were not distracted. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. that's what you they got these to big, prove that you weren't. You know, that's, that's you, know you got those big <laughs> lawyer companies that all they are interested in is the bottom dollar and the, and the yeah. And, and it's always the big truckers' fault. Well, they could yeah. have, they could have yeah. this video that clearly shows that they right. were at fault. But then they go, well, we don't know what that driver is doing, so he could have been distracted. Now all of a sudden, the trucking company's got to hand out a two million dollar check. Yeah, but the, I the other side of things, check, I it's all about accountability. So it's <laughs> accountability on us drivers mm -hmm. that are that are driving the truck, yeah. and then you know the the normal folk, let's just say, mm -hmm. you know, if it is our fault, we want to be responsible. For yeah, you want, and, yeah, and you we want can prove it. And, and, then, and that's fine. Own up to it. Yeah, and, you're going to own up to it. Do it's the like, right thing. Do yeah. the right thing. Exactly. Yeah. The, thing, the thing that, you know, that I've always stood on here is, you know, all this stuff is a slow progression towards autonomous driving trucks someday. Someday yeah, you get in the truck and say, hey, we want to go there. It's a, probably not going to be in my driving lifetime. Um, probably but, not mine either. But, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they got to the point where you could get on the highway and, like, Push autopilot, and I could like turn to my bunk and like jump in the back and take yeah. a nap. Well, wake up. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> or I can like turn my seat to my bunk and like make a sandwich and get a turn on the auto field or something. Well, yeah. there is there is a company out there. I was talking to a guy at a Centro <laughs> conference that he was talking about something like that, but it was team drivers. So you would have a two trucks. Yeah. The one truck is following the other one. Yeah. So Dave, you're you're responsible for both trucks. You're sleeping. So Justin, like you're sleeping back there, <laughs> yeah. but it's following you. Everything you do, but it's got to be, it, they were talking about long, like 500 mile stretches. That'd be like California uh, to Ohio kind of stuff. Yeah, where, you know, that yeah. where you meet up at a certain place mm -hmm. and that's what it's doing. Yep. And then, uh, you know, when your hours are done, you know, you know, somehow you wake him up, shock him, whatever. <laughs> and, you know, then he, then he takes off, you know, and then you could do that now. Yeah. There's a lot of trust involved in that. And oh, I don't yeah. think I'd be able to sleep. But, but I, I don't think I would, if I ever team drove, I would, it would have to be someone I really, really trusted. Well, they're not in the truck with you. 
There's somebody ahead of you. Oh, you're yeah. following that truck. That right. makes me feel even better. Yeah, <laughs> see, see what I mean? There's nobody to talk to, nobody in there. Yeah, that's that's right. 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 Yeah. But yeah, I mean, all in all, the thing, the biggest thing is with all this technology is great and it's very helpful. It's time saving immensely, mm -hmm. and it really has made our jobs as drivers so much easier, so much quicker. <clears throat> I mean, there's little kinks here and there, little, you know, and some people don't like change, but overall, a lot of this stuff has made a humongous difference in a lot of people's lives. Oh, yeah. But that, that being said, you still have to maintain control of the truck. You yeah. still can't passively just go, well, this thing steers itself, and it'll hold its speed and keep its yeah. distance, and... You still want to make sure you're in control of the truck, oh, yeah. and you're not, and you're looking ahead and looking in your mirrors and watching what you're doing, not staring at the blue line on the screen, wondering where you're turning. Yeah. Now. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. all this technology is wonderful, well, but it, it, you it, got security it, issues then too. Yeah. You know, what if uh, someone hacked us and we get a little some nine, the screen? Nine, nine, nine year old kid starts hacking these, you know, truck, truck, truck trucks. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it can happen. I mean, we've yeah. seen it happen, you know, now, and, and you know, that's that's another piece of technology is you know the data security part of it. And one of the reasons we keep uh, we use an IBM I here. Uh, one of the reasons we keep that is is it it's secure keep, to keep the security. Yeah, it, the security yeah. is is Cause top it, notch. Yeah, because I mean, as much as they say you need to maintain control of your truck and you need to be responsible and. You need to be in control of what's going on. Yeah. There are people out there that are going to let the technology do a lot of the thinking for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and you know, if somebody gets into that and starts screwing with it and changing mm -hmm. routing and changing the, you yeah. know, they're going to, hey, no, it, it told me to turn here. I know there's no road, but it said to turn, so I just did. Well, I mean, and, you, and you go into a, you know, yeah. um, and there's also, yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. also a lot of, in my opinion, there's a lot of sensitive information, yeah. even on a driver's tablet, like, you know, our pay information's there, or, you know, who we're hauling for, who you're or, hauling you know, stuff like that. Where you're going with it. In yeah. my opinion, yeah. there's a lot of sensitive your, your information. Your driver's license, yeah. pictures yeah. on there. With See, we the have all that secured, yeah. and, and even if I would go out there and I'd, I'd steal your iPad and try to sell it, it's still no good mm -hmm. to anybody. You can wipe it, you can think you can jailbreak it, you can do any of that, you can't. You can't with iOS. You cannot with Apple the way we have it set up. I know. It just does not work that way. Androids, it does. Well, that's one reason we went with iOS. You're yeah. saying nobody would want Justin's no. Hey, no. do say if someone we don't want to know what's on it. If someone's going to steal my identity, can you please take my bills? That's all I'm <laughs> yeah, asking. Exactly. Take your debt. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Take my debt. Did you add some zeros to the left side of the yeah. The left side? You mean the right side? The, right, yeah. the left side of the desk. The desk well, there you go. Okay. Add some zeros to that, please. Um, <laughs> wow. For Continental Express, though, I mean, we've got a lot of things in the, in the pipeline, so. I'll so, have you done a lot with um, the new motive? Have you had any workings with that, or is that its own? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a package we actually bought. Okay. Uh, that's our hours of service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was something we talked about, uh, you know, building our own, kind of like the CEO. However, that gets a little more... Um, into you know regulations and things and yeah. one it's probably not a good idea for the company to create their own yeah. hours of service it just it's that's a self interest involved here. yeah you got a little yeah. self interest and yeah. plus and then, you got to keep up on everything and well, there's so much that can be yeah it's left for interpretation yeah with the hours of yeah. service like how we're doing it versus how DOT thinks we should be doing it right. versus how yeah. You know, there's a lot of interpretation which yeah. can leave a driver. I'm sure there's a lot of legal stuff in there. Right. You know, you've got to get to certified and all that stuff. It's just not something uh, Continental was inter interested in. At the time. Yeah, and that makes sense yeah. too. Is that, yeah, I mean, you'd be. But so yeah, far, every year rules change, and you'd be constantly yeah. in there having it. Mean, it'd yeah. be a never-ending loop. So. <laughs> so far, our deal is, um, you know, with uh, Go Motive now is. Um, Proving its point, you know, us going to it. So mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think we're happy with it, and you know, that's something that we integrated too within the CEO. That's another yeah. reason the CEO. You know, if we switch ELD providers, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, it's it's not much of a change for us. We can mm -hmm. and we can put that into the CEO. Um, well, you know, same thing with trailer tracking, and you know, it's 
it's unlimited. You know, That's, the amount of stuff that we can do. And it's really nice on the CEGO app that it's integrated with Motive because you can see your hours at the top. So you're not yeah. constantly going back. And but forth. that's that's the same yeah. thing starting yeah. with with the uh, yeah, yeah, it's, for the it's not 100 percent, but time. it's close. But yeah. at least you don't have yeah. to keep jumping back and forth between yeah. two apps. Like yeah. if you're close to the end of the day and you got like 30 mm -hmm. minutes left, like you you know yeah. then you yeah. want to watch it closer. Yeah. But yeah, it gives you an idea, it gives you an idea yeah. what your where your time's at. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and you still I mean if you drove for any amount of time you still know, you want to mentally know, hey, by this time of the day, I need to be parked and done. I'm, I'm going to be close to being out of hours. I mean, be, it should be all part of, I mean, even though it will trip plan for you to a degree, you still mm -hmm. need to trip plan. There's a lot of false positives in there oh, you know, yeah. in, in your yeah. trip. And, you know, you don't want to rely on the technology mm -hmm. to do everything for it's you. It's a tool. It's just like yeah. anything else, you know. you got to think for yourself, like, you know, it's like, okay, i got this much time. I can make it past this truck stop or this restaurant, but what's south of there? Exactly. You yeah. can make it to yeah. and make it there safely. And, you know, one of the, that's one of the issues in trucking today is there's so many trucks out there that if you're not parked by a certain time, you might not find a parking spot. So then yeah. you got to keep moving. So you want to allow yourself time to find a spot yeah. and not like run down to the last minute and pull in a truck stop, all oh, this place is full. You know, so you, you gotta, you gotta you plan call ahead. Dispatch, well, hey, I'm out of hours, but this place there's no parking. Well, why, yeah. why did you, you passed seven truck stops in the last half hour, why did you? Yeah. They're all full. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you checked every one of them? Oh, no, I, well, but I could get this far. So, well, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, the technology is great, but you still have to use. Oh, yeah. You still have to use your brain. You still have to think right. it through and use common sense. Yep. And, yeah, and was, you know, and but um, see, goes not not done by by any means. I mean, we're constantly updating yeah. it with you guys' input. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably ninety five percent of our changes is because yeah. of somebody saying, "Hey, it's you know, this would be nice," or whatever it may be. I mean, I can um, still remember when I first got it. Um, that when they when Connell would ask me to take it on the road, just you know, kind of see what I think, and like, and mm -hmm. it was like at the very beginning stages, and like I remember when I first got it, it didn't even have the how much like distance and time or yeah, and I yeah. was like, and I was like the first thing I was like, man, I, like that's something I like like I use daily, like how many miles is left versus how much time, how much time, how many miles, yeah. And I so know, when, yeah, when I first got it, there was still a lot of bugs to work mm -hmm. out. It was still a little bit too hard. It's new, and that's what's like. Part of the building phase, you know, yeah. testing phase. But now, I mean, now it runs nice and smooth. It mm -hmm. seems to go good. I mean, there's times where, there's times in a day where um, it'll just shut off and it reboot itself. Is it? Is that some kind of an update? Usually, like just an update yeah. or something. A lot of times we're all using cell connection though too. So I mean, there's so if you have a low signal, uh, yeah, you're you know, out in the you know. Kentucky, like one of them roads, you know, and yeah. you know the banjo music probably don't have so 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah, there you go. Yeah. I really feel like Continental did a great job when they ruled the CEO app out. Like they didn't yeah. just like take all the trucks at once and slam it in. Like they kept they, they kept they putting it, it in. Little by data little was little coming by little. in yep. to dispatch. The dispatchers were getting used to the new system, and they just kept putting it in. Then drivers were giving more feedback, and like they just. They slowly yep. kept changing yep. it over instead of one big change at a, at a time because it was a lot of information for drivers to learn because you had your mapping your how you send your messages and like it, it was a lot to take in but they did a great job of like they did they yeah. did so many trucks you know at a and time that i mean i will say that it is very user friendly mm -hmm. it's very easy to maneuver it's very <clears throat> simple to figure out well, it's, it's not complicated at all. It's, I'd be surprised. I remember that <laughs> when we had when we had Qualcomm. One of the biggest things I always uh, didn't like was I had to remember my manifest number so I could type it in. So now, like with the CEO app, like you hit loaded leaving, like your manifest, like it it knows exactly like it yeah. puts it in yeah. there, and then you just have to fill in your trailer and all that. Yeah. But yeah. I remember when we on uh, Qualcomm, I was always like, oh, what was my manifest number? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, oh, and it, oh, but it's really yeah. quick. It's yeah. just like do 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 do, and you know, and then bam, your message is off. You're, you know, you're, they get that was it. one reason we did that was to make it easy, quick. Yeah. We yeah. want those messages. We yeah. need those. Yeah, because yeah. then dispatch gets your loaded leaving. They dispatch you. Your trailer pops up. Your map's there. You're good to go. Yeah. You and know, you, yeah. And well, uh, my point of it was the customers needed it. You know, we yeah. we needed all. Oh. We needed those macros to to. They, they want to know where their loads at, and we can say, well, 
you know, Justin or Dave or whoever, they left a location. I mean, we had GPS coordinates and we send them that stuff all day long, but, um, but now you they want to physically yeah. know that. But you when, know, yeah, how far out is he? When yeah. is he going to be? Is he stopped or something? Yeah. Or what's going on? Yeah. Well, yeah. Plus, it helps, you know, here, you know, I said we use an IBM I, which we do, but we have a lot of logistics programs here that could say, you know, maybe uh, for whatever reason, let's just say uh, uh, we projected you to be at the shipper maybe two hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you get done in 15 minutes. Yeah. You send us that. That resets everything here. That says, well, we might be able to get you on a better load now. Right. You make more money. Yeah, because you're. Yep. We use your hours of service efficient, efficiently. You yeah. get more miles. Everybody's everybody's happy. And, yeah. um, and that's yeah, why the macros they work so perfect. Because like you send like arrived at shipper, and like so you're sitting in the bullpen. It's like, <clears> oh hey, you got a door. So now you send unloading in shipper. So it's like okay, most likely he's in a door. So that way, then they can go, okay, well, if he's in a door, maybe he's going to be there a couple hours so they can start trip planning your next plan. Yep. But it also works because, you know, if we have to charge detention, like they see, okay, you sat here for like, you yep. arrived at the shipper in an hour, and then you sent loaded leaving, well, there was an hour gap. So, okay, you sat yeah. here, yeah, you sat outside for an hour, and then you went to a door, and like, they can track exactly how long you were there. How long you were there, yeah. where you were at. Yeah. And, that, and that's within so much. And then it's all it's good feedback. So it's like if this place is holding us up for like six hours, maybe we're gonna, you know, yeah. you know yeah. like it's just so good like, now. Yeah. So well, and any closing thoughts on that? There's a lot of. I mean, there's we could talk about this for hours and hours. Yeah. Technology is just never yeah. gonna stop. Maybe it'll be uh, technology 102 instead of 101. Yeah, yeah. Get the next time. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, any closing thoughts or anything coming down the pike you wanna uh, We're spoil? just, uh, we're, we're, we're updating all the time and okay. trying to keep up with all the trends. Okay. Creating new trends, uh, pushing new trends. Any, any new apps or any spoilers coming out uh, in the near future? I don't wanna spoil it. Uh, we're, we're doing some YMS stuff, so yard, man, yard management systems. So uh, oh, okay. we'll be doing that stuff for a lot of the spotters. Justin will be uh, involved in that. Uh, yeah, we do. Hey, Justin, you got, you got any closing thoughts? Or what do you think? No, I'm just I'm I am excited to see what's going to come down the pipeline. I mean, like like Ron said, the CEO go out there constantly updating, and it's getting better. You know, uh, we're getting more and more information, like the live traffic, the truck stops, the yeah, and just um, so it's kind of exciting to see where things are going to go. And where is leading? I mean, technology. I I don't think there's ever like a dead end road on yeah, technology, yeah. and um, so but it, it's uh, definitely making the company better. It makes our jobs it is. It is. makes our jobs better. So I'm just excited to see uh, where it's heading. And I'm and unfortunately, I, I feel like I'm kind of fortunate to be on the front line. Like with this, yeah, I help. Yeah, it's, it's nice I too. helped a lot with the CEO app, and I'm I look forward to helping in the future if I can. Yeah, when, when you're lots of headaches from you. Yeah, but, but when you're able to test the stuff out and help them with it, you're one of the first ones familiar with it. So when other drivers come along, you can help them with it. It's good, and that's the one thing about this technology is it's never going to stop. It's going to keep upgrading and updating and getting better. And that's uh, that's why we. It's, have to, it's we have definitely to stay in the years I've been driving. It has definitely changed the industry and the way you do things. Um, immensely um, for the drivers. So, uh, in, in closing, uh, again, I want to reiterate this is all great. Technology is wonderful. But you want to make sure you are physically in, in control of that vehicle and you're not relying on the technology for your safety. Um, I want to thank you guys for showing up. This has been great. Yeah. It's been a lot Thanks of fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yep. Justin, I want pictures of the baby with mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that wraps up our uh, podcast on technology. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.